Hello and welcome to Cooking the Books with Heather. Today we're going to be working out of Rodney Scott's World of Barbecue and we're going to be making Rodney's sauce. So this is, I would say, an Eastern North Carolina style sauce. It is vinegar based. Um, I don't know if he would call it that. I think he's from South Carolina, I believe, but it is a vinegar based sauce. We're not making any meat to put this on right now. I'm sure we will in the future, but we have another recipe that we're making this for, but this will keep in the refrigerator for almost ever. So we'll have plenty of time to use it. Right now I have some white vinegar in my pot and I'm going to turn it up to medium high heat. If you have been watching me for a while, you'll see that this is a new stove. So we are still getting used to it, but he says medium high heat. So, you're, so we're warming the vi vinegar. He says about five minutes. We're gonna wait until it gets to 150 degrees. But uh, while we are waiting on that, uh, we're gonna talk about how this sauce is basically vinegar and black pepper with a few other things. Um, so you're looking for the that sort of balance, he says. They would make it just on top of coals outside while they're cooking the pig. It's not what we're doing now. We're, we're looking for about 150 degrees at this point, just before it starts to simmer. I don't know why he's like whisking. Looks like he's making a vinaigrette from it. I also want to say the rest, this recipe is for a gallon of sauce. We are not making a gallon of sauce. We would not use a gallon of sauce in a year, probably. So we are making a quart of sauce. So that's, we have scaled it down ourselves to a quarter of the original recipe. So we are almost there. We're like mid 140s. I'm going to go ahead um, and we're going to put in lemon slices. So I have thinly sliced whole lemon. Well, not the whole, but anyway, it's a whole lemon thinly sliced and it's the part, the quarter of the recipe amount. So we're going to put this in here and now we're just going to let it cook. I didn't bother taking out the seeds, the skin and all. Um, and we're going to let this cook in here for about 10 minutes until the lemon peels begin to soften and wilt. 10 minutes. And it should be at about 190 degrees at that point. This has been about 10 minutes. Um, I turned my heat down a little bit just so it only simmers because I felt like it was going to boil a lot of the vinegar off if I left it up. And it does look like my lemons are basically turning translucent, so they've cooked enough. And now I need to whisk in the black pepper. Now, some of this was just pre-ground black pepper, oops, and some of it I ground fresh, but I don't really care if it's pre-ground right now. It's all because it's a lot, if, especially if you're making a full gallon. It's a lot of black pepper. Um, we have some cayenne pepper, still quite a bit. I feel like that's going to make me gonna hurt my eyes. Um, some red pepper flakes. Not very many of those, but some. And some sugar. That will sort of balance out the heat and also the sharpness from the vinegar. So now we want to, it says cook over medium high heat for another about 10 minutes until it's 190 degrees. But let me tell you, it was over 190 degrees uh, before. So honestly, I think once all the sugar, it's over 190 degrees already. So I might just let it simmer for a few minutes just to let those things combine, but I don't think we need 10 more minutes. And I'm not gonna turn the heat up because I don't want all of the vinegar to boil away. So we're gonna just, let it go at my slightly above medium heat so it will simmer for about five minutes. So there we go. 
My stove says I have about a minute left on my timer, but I'm not really concerned about that. It is up to 208 degrees. It's been simmering for about five minutes. Whew, I got a whiff of vinegar and peppers. I'm going to call this done. Now I'm going to turn this off. We're going to let this cool to room temperature before we use it. Um, and before we store it, we're going to strain out the lemon slices because we don't want to put those in there. And that's it. Uh, we will show you what it looks like and let you know what we think in just a minute. On this episode of Cooking the Books with Heather, you watch me make Rodney's sauce from Rodney Scott's World of Barbecue. Now, when I originally made this, I made it mostly for a cocktail that is also in this book. You use the sauce to make a syrup. So you combine it with sugar. That did not work out so well for me. I think it needs a little more liquid. I think the ratios for that were not very good, but that will be in the, the cocktail recipe, which I will include once it's live somewhere, you know, in here. Um, but at its heart, this is pretty much a, an Eastern North Carolina style barbecue sauce. That's what I know it as. It's got a little extra things you use white vinegar instead of mostly, I think people use apple cider vinegar. I think that's what um, Sam Jones uses. Uh, there's some lemon in there, but it's pretty much a vinegar based Eastern North Carolina style barbecue sauce. When we first made this, I thought it might end up being a little too spicy. So I tasted it right afterwards and it tasted pretty spicy, which there's supposed to be a little bit of spice in, in, in that sort of barbecue sauce, or at least the ones that I'm used to do have a little bit of spice, but I was a little concerned that it was gonna be too spicy because of, there's quite a lot of cayenne pepper in it. I made a quarter batch um, because I did not need a gallon of it. Um, but there's quite, still quite a bit of cayenne pepper and red pepper flakes in it. But we made a pork butt on the smoker. It smoked for a really long time. It rained and I think that that sort of made the temperature go down a little bit too much several times over the course of its, of its cook. It was super, super tender. Once it was done, it was really fall apart tender. But um, we didn't use anything from this book, any methods from this book for that. We just, you know, we do that relatively often. So we just kind of did it. Used one of our, I think we used Meathead's Memphis dust, I believe, on it before smoking. And then we used this sauce afterwards. And it was not too spicy. So that is good to know. It did sit for probably a few weeks, I'd say probably about two weeks at least in the refrigerator before we used it for that, but it was not too spicy. In fact, I could barely, there was not really a, a huge amount of spice in that. Um, so, which is what I prefer. So that was a concern, but turned out to be fine. As long as you make it ahead of time and give it time to sort of mellow out, and uh, it can be refrigerated. He says for up to eight weeks, it's mostly vinegar. It'll be fine. It'll be fine in the refrigerator for longer than that. In my opinion, I wouldn't be concerned about using it after that. Um, as long as you remove, and, and we remove the lemon, as he suggested after you uh, let it cool with the lemon in there and let, let that get infused. Anyway, um, yeah, if you've enjoyed watching me make this, please give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, let me know what you think of this recipe in the comments down below, and come back and watch me make something else next week. Mm -hmm.